Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful time. Today we're going over how to get yourself the Torch of Eternity Mask in Soul Mask. And the location for the mask is going to be within the Holy Ruin at the Rift Valley, which is just located just north of the Rainforest Portal, uh, really close to the Ancient Pyramid here. If you pick up the portal, you can use it to get here. Otherwise, I would recommend you to take the path that goes through the mountain between the Pyramid and the Holy Ruin. Once you get here, you will have a big waterfall and there's an entrance to the right of here and there is going to be some plunder NPCs guarding this area and they'll be around level 30 or so and it's really recommended that you are using a mount here as you can just run past all of them and even go straight to the boss room without having to fight anyone. Follow the path just straight down here and once you get to this crossing you want to continue going straight here and then you want to continue past all the plunders NPC here and then once you get to the bonfire here you want to take a left up these stairs. And here we then come to this huge maze area but instead of doing it we can skip it by jumping to the right here. And then you just want to follow the mountainside, continue to ignore the NPCs, they won't be able to attack you. Take a right here and then you just want to run over this bridge which is going to lead you to the room with some mechs, fighting with some plunders here. Continue to ignore them and you just want to continue going straight up the stairs here and continue all the way until you get to the boss room. And this is going to be the only one that you will have to fight in order to get yourself the Torch of Eternity mask. The boss is a mech so this means that you need to have a blunt weapon like the hammer or gauntlets to be able to deal damage to it and also using a Christian tank is really helpful here as it will make the mech take extra damage. The boss overall is not too hard to handle as long as you can stay close to the boss. He will do only three different attacks. One of the attacks he's going to do is shooting out lasers from him and he will start to rotate as well. And you will just have to move with him here and this is always going to be clockwise when he does that. He then have another when he shoot out one laser and this will target you and this range is limited so you can dodge or move to one of the sides here. And then his attack will not reach you and then you can just start to attack him or you can also use bandage here if you want to as his attack take a quite a bit of time to do so you have plenty of time to use your bandage here. And the last one is going to be his cyclone attack and this is the attack that you want to be most careful with. He will put down his blades and you just have to move away from him once he does that and that's basically it. I put the whole boss fight without any cuts at the end of the video if you want to check it out. And once the boss is defeated you can go and get your loot. From the big chest you will find different loot but also the earth worship container uh, that you will need to have if you want to fight the last version of the saber tooth boss. Then just a normal chest here as well with some general stuff in it like some premium animal parts for example. And then to the treasure room itself is where you will find your new mask torch of eternity right here in the middle. You'll find another chest here with some great loot in it and there's also a mysterious stone table here as well if you'd like to grab it. After you have looted everything you can start to head back to your home base and if you go to the right here and just follow this path this will lead you to the bridge that we crossed once we got here. And we just want to take the same way out as the way that we came from and you will be out in no time. It's a really nice ruin to do once in a while. It's uh, really fast to do and really easy as well as you can just skip everything and head out uh, with the loot right away basically. Tell me in the comments below what you think about it. Should you be able to skip or not? I'm interested to hear your opinion on it. Once you get back home you can head to the mysterious stone table and equip your new mask by transferring your awareness. And as any new mask you will also have to level it up to be able to take advantage of its unique perks. Stone of Eternity is all about survival, kinda makes you cheat death with the mask. If you get down for example enemies stop attack you and you also get some boosted defense and health regen as well so you can get up and continue your fight if you get down basically. Really great to have if you're going solo and don't have any friends with you to help you out. But as I just mentioned, getting all of these perks will need you to start to level it up first. So do keep that in mind. 
You also get less food and water consumption with the mask as well. So it's really great for you to want to stay a little bit more AFK at the workstation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. If you got any other questions, feel free to drop a comment and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!